Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, man? Coming back, your boy, Country Boxing Knowledge. Um, Coming to you, man. It, it looks like I got I got some news for the David Benavides fans. It's funny because I'm, I actually, um, I live out here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I, I had the pleasure of meeting David Benavides and Ho Jose Benavides. Um, but uh, looks like the WBC um, is ordering David Benavides versus David Lemieux for the WBC Super Middleweight Interim title. Um, you know, for those that don't know or has been under a rock, we are, you know, David Benavidez, a uh, two time super uh, WBC super middleweight champion. First time he lost, um, due to, um, you know, having a, a banned substance, cocaine in his uh, body, and then, you know, more recently, which was like when the pandemic started, like last year, he lost it on scales, he lost the title on scales. So, um, but nevertheless, last, um, his last fight was what, November 13th. Um, and I can't even, you got to forgive me. I can't even remember. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but I actually went to that fight. Um, you know, big super middleweight, fast hands, um, you know, looks to be the par. Going against David Lemieux. David Lemieux, um, he had his ups and downs. Um, <clears throat> my bad. Uh, had the big fight with Triple G. Um, you know, been in there with the likes of Curtis Stevens. Curtis, Curtis Stevens. Um, let me see. Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, Gary O'Sullivan. Those are just the ones that I remember off the top. But, um... You know, good, uh, solid fight. I, I like the fight, actually. I like the fight. You know, I like the fight. I think that um, this is a good direction uh, for David Benavidez. Um, I I definitely, uh, I think that, you know, David Lemieux may be um, past it. Not that he ever was, like, at the top, but, you know, he said he had his opportunities. You know, he fought, um, like I said, he fought the likes of Triple G. Uh, got beat, got stopped by Triple G, and then fought, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, uh, which Billy J Billy Joe put on a masterful, masterful artwork on um, on uh, David Lemieux. So, you know, um, but nevertheless, he's still a hard hitting guy. What what is his record? Um, I want to let me see. Let me see if I can find his record. There we go. Uh, forty three and four. 43 and 4 with 36 knockouts. So um definitely has a um a good good you know good punch on him. Um good fight, solid fight for David Benavidez. I remember at one time they were trying to get Dave uh David Lemieux to fight um Canelo. And I just you know, it's, I just really wasn't too interested in that. I never was interested in David Lemieux stepping up facing Canelo, but this fight I'm definitely um interested in. More on his uh more so, you know, because it's 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 a breakout. I think it's more of a, a breakout fight. I, you could possibly say this would be the best name on David Benavidez, depending on who you ask. Some might say um Anthony Durrell. Um was it Anthony or Andre Durrell? I think it was Anthony. Yeah, it was Anthony Durrell. And um, but you know, nevertheless, it's still a good step in the direction. David Benavidez. Um, we all know, like I said, he has fast hands, big uh, super middleweight. And I'm I'm interested in this man. I, I'm, I'm interested in this matchup. I'm interested in this fight. I definitely uh, wouldn't mind seeing it. Assuming the winner uh, gets Canelo. Uh, everybody's been well. Majority, depending on what Canelo does, we don't know what Canelo's doing. Um, I heard he's moving up to uh, cruiserweight, but you know, we just we we just don't know. So, um, David Benavidez, who didn't even lose, you know, he he didn't lose his um, belt on the scales. I mean, he didn't lose his belt in the ring. He lost it on the scales. So, you know, a lot of people are interested in a matchup between David Benavidez and Canelo. Um, but, you know, if David can't get past David Lemieux, then, you know, there's no Canelo fight. So, winner, winner should be in line to fight Canelo should he keep the belt. It's just no telling what Canelo's going to do. He has a, a different range, a variety of things that he can do. So, I...
I'm looking forward to this fight. Hopefully, David Benavidez gets the win. Um, I definitely don't care to see David. I just never had to. I, bro, I promise I've never had to. I've never had the urge to see um, David Lemieux and Canelo fight. I just, I don't know why. I just that just fight is just not appealing to me. But um, but David Benavidez versus David Lemieux is appealing to me, and I, I would definitely like to see David Benavidez versus Canelo. But again, David Benavidez got has to get past David Lemieux. Um, I the the way I see this fight going, um, I see David David Lemieux possibly getting stopped in the later rounds. Like I said, David Lemieux is kind of past his prime. Um, it's kind of past. He's kind of seen better days. Uh, I don't really know what he's done at 168 to be honest. But nevertheless, I just I don't really think David Lemieux really has it. David Benavides being such a big one, he's David Benavides is a big guy at one sixty eight, um, and has kind of, he doesn't have the best defense, but pretty much wears his opponents down to get the stoppage, you know. And he and one thing I like about David. Um, David Benavides is he's honest with himself and he said, you know, he doesn't have one punch knockout power, but he does have power. I think David Benavides wins a lot of his fights based off of him walking his opponent down and um and getting him tired. Because when you're fighting a, a guy, a big guy like that that's just kind of coming forward, you know, I, I don't care how much shape you're in, that's gonna, you know, it's gonna wear you down. And then not only that, but he's not the softest puncher. You know, he he has some pop in his punch, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. See, hopefully they can do it here in Phoenix again. Bring it back to Phoenix. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, but man, I, 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 I'm interested in it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you, what you, you know, how you feel about David Benavides, uh, the WBC. Um, what would you like to see next for either fighter? Should should either fighter progress? Like I said, I got David Benavides stopping. David Lemieux in the late rounds. Check in with you next time, folks.